Okay, let's uh, begin some basic uh, VMD tasks by just doing the first part of assignment one. Let's uh, open up this uh, small DNA fragment. Um, we can get things directly from the protein data bank by just entering their accession number right in the file name and hitting return. So let's type in 103D and hit load and we see 103D here in the line representation. Line representation is uh, the least taxing graphically so uh, even just a few years ago when graphic cards were pretty expensive you wanted to do most of your work with lines and change representation. Uh, okay so one of the powers of VMD is all the different representations that we can do and we do that by coming over here to the graphical representations window. We can, uh, first of all, we can select different molecules if we have more than one loaded. We don't right now. Um, and we can create as many representations as we want, which gives us the effect we want. So uh, come down here to the drawing method. We can see all the different drawing methods. Um, you can experiment with these if you want. Um, CPK is what the assignment calls for, so here's CPK, and we can see that there's some um, shading going on to try to show perspective and, uh, and so on. Um, you can come down here and change the resolution if you want of the spheres. This generally will only show up when you uh, do the render, when you do the picture. You want this to be as high as possible before you do that. Um, let's Let's show the backbone of, of the DNA molecule with another representation. So we'll create a new representation. What that generally does is duplicates the one you already have. Um, and let's, let's do uh, a ribbon, a uh, ribbon or a new ribbon. So if we come in here and do that, we can see what it does is it puts a ribbon down the backbone. And you may also be able to see the hexagonal, pentagonal um, prisms that it uses for the base pairs see them in there a little bit and see how they fit in with the CPK. Um, we don't want to emphasize, overemphasize this, so let's shade it. Let's make it transparent. Um, and let's change the, the coloring a little bit by um, something like segment name or confirmation, something that makes it kind of um, different and neutral. Chain might be a good one. So one of the things you can do in VMD is save, save this state that you have so other people can look at it without having to go through all the steps that you uh, need to take to attain this particular um, image. So the way we do that is come over to the file menu and go to save visualization state. Um, you can browse uh, to the area you want to be in. I happen to be exactly where I want to put this one. And I'm just going to name this assignment. 1-1.vmd. One one, uh, VMD. VMD is the suffix for these kind of things. Um, Unix actually doesn't care too much about suffixes. These are just mostly here to help you. It'll give you a preview of what the file looks like and uh, don't don't forget to actually name it. Um, it doesn't do that by default. You have to put a name in. Type OK and it has saved the state. The other, uh, the other thing you can do is you can create a picture. You can render this picture. It's going to render the picture the same size as your window. So if you want a nice big render, you need to go ahead and make sure the window is you know, as big as you want it. Um, in this case, I, I just want to do this for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to make this approximate square. And I'll go over here to File render. By default um, it's going to ask for a snapshot but this is just a screenshot and this is actually not too good because if, if you're making a movie or something and you move windows around it'll capture all that just like a screencast. You don't really want that. You just want the render. Tachyon is one of the renders and there's a built-in Tachyon render in VMD which is pretty good. So again you want to name it. You want to browse to where you're going to name it. And then you can come in here and call it whatever you want.
the default suffix is a TGA, which is kind of like a TIFF. What this is going to do when it's done to is going to open it in preview, um, which you may or may not like, but that's what it's going to do. So it'll render, it'll just take a second. And it should have opened it, but I, I guess, let's see what it looks like here. Okay, so there it is. Um, it's going to be pretty much exactly the same size and everything. It should look the same. And if you're happy with it, then you can be done. And of course, you can make other, other ones if you want to. Um, so that's it. That's the first part of the first assignment. Um, hopefully, we'll do more of these as maybe part of the key so everybody can see what you have to do.